Hi guys, why I will not sell my Neo stock video, guys. Let's look at the Neo stock price chart. Not financial advice, guys, just my opinion. I did a live video yesterday and there's something wrong with the sound, you know. There's a lot of good information there. I don't think you could hear me. Anyway, guys, oh no, this is the, um, this is Metro Bank. Sorry, guys, I'll just put it on the Neo chart. I did give Metro Bank, by the way, a tip, as a tip, when it was 30 pence, but no one took any notice, and uh, Metro Bank seems to be going to the moon. But anyway, guys, this is the Neo stock. And I just got back to the office. I've been to Regent's Park. Um, it's freezing outside. It's the 21st today of November 2024. It's just turned 16 minutes past 3 p.m. Right, so... UK UK time so let's get into it guys <clears throat> pre-market yesterday I was up to well it, as you know it rose yesterday it rose right and then it went down pre-market and now today 21st it's going up a bit, but not fully. Let's just check. Yeah, it's Thursday today. Just want to make sure, guys. And as you can see, it's stabilised, more or less. 460, uh, 465. It's better than, <clears throat> you know... It's better than four dollars, guys, right? Neo stock. So I'm holding my Neo stock anyway. I'm holding for the long term because why do I want to let's say Neo stock goes to nine dollars, for example? Why do I want to cash it? Neo stock was more or less at um eight dollars, seven seventy was more or less at $8, right? So let's say it goes back to $8, $9. And let's say I hold, I want to hold long term. I'll tell you why I don't want to cash it in, close my positions, because for that little bit of profit, say 70% profit, roughly 75% profit, I'll be losing out a possible X10, X20. And you know how difficult it is to get back in, like lower, at a lower price, and then ride the wave up, you know, 50%, 70% up, and then sell, and then either short it down or wait for it to come back down and then do the same. It's not, if you see, if you've seen the price action with Neo stock. There isn't that many opportunities. You've seen it yourself. It came down from $66 and it hasn't been doing that much up and down, up and down, like good, like percentage wise. You know, that amount of percent anyway, it's not, you know, you know yourself, right? So look at the chart. This is the chart, right? The one day chart, Neo stock. So that's where it came down from 770, right? You know that you know it came down from 770 there. All right, you could have bought here, right? Around, um, you know, five, yeah, five dollars, and then it went up to six. All right, so that was one opportunity you could have bought there and sold up here, all right? Close your positions up here. But then it's gone down, right? So there's not many opportunities to look. For instance, you could have bought here 433 
and it goes up 478 there's not much in it right it's still quite a bit like it depends how much money you put in it and then obviously you could have bought down here again and then sold up here but it's not going to keep doing that like because it's look if you go back before it rose to 770 just lift the chart like that's where it came down all the way from 66 but well that I came down to here from $66, right? All right, so you could have bought here and then you get that rise. That was the first rise to $6 and then it went all the way down. So like, for instance, if you would have bought here, you could have sold up here. There has been opportunities, but not many. Like you could have bought here, sold here, bought here, sold here and so on. But it, 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 it was falling. So you're not always going to call it right you're not always going to catch it like for instance if you bought here and then it would have just fa fail so you would have you wouldn't have got that rise until like if you waited then you would have got it here going up right unless you want to play small small rises like buy here sell here buy here sell, and so on right but it's not that many opportunities and with neo stock as I say, it's like a spiky stock. So that's why I'm holding long term because in the long term, if I get X10, X20, X30 and so on, it's better than getting, as I say, 50%, 70% and then trying again. You know, and then I'm going to miss out because let's say I buy low and then it goes up and I think that's a good amount, you know, 70%, 50% profit and then I'll sell. And then it keeps going up. If it keeps going up and then doesn't come back down. I'm not going to get back in cheaper. I'm not going to be able to buy cheaper and I've missed out. I've missed out X10, X20, X whatever. It could be X100 just for like, uh, you know, just for like a 50%. Like, it's not, it's, you, know, you see my point? So that's why I'm holding long term, guys. That's why I'm holding long term. I don't know what you're doing. It's not financial advice, as I said. It's uh, just my opinion. But I still see this spiking up to $9 in 2024. Ask me why I told you in my previous videos. You can go back and check. But still see that as a possibility in 2024 i'm up on as i said i'm up on um some other stocks i did give tips guys i did give tips on not financial advice i did give tips on the channel but a lot of people they don't always research they don't always look at other stocks they always they go to the hype i, th I think they go to the hype Anyway, guys, this is just a quick update. That's why I'm holding. That's why I'm holding my um, Neo stock. And currently it's moving up 770. It just touched 770. And actually today, so far, the market's not been open long. It's been 772 around there. You can change the chart to the 10 minute chart. And. Um, you can see that it's been up to 770, about 772. Um, yeah, so it's early days. Let's just change that to 15. No, I'm going to change the chart. It's early days, guys. It's early days, I think, for Neo stock. There's a lot of panic, as I say, a lot of panic. Um, these kinds of stocks, when panic sets in, it just spreads like wildfire, you know. But they're obviously like people that haven't been investing long, you know, for a long time. So today, there's not much news. Um, it's one price target. 
but you know you can't go by these price targets you know these institutions and hedge funds and who knows what putting price targets on stocks they've got um, neo at 480 but it makes no you know it's meaningless at the end of the day the price action is what counts right and um, as I say, like, you know, it's Friday tomorrow. It's possible it could beat the trend, like the um, downtrend, the Friday downtrend. It's possible it could go, it could go, it could go up a lot on a Friday. It's still possible, guys. So, and it's still got, you know, to the end of the, uh, November. It's still got next week. Up to the 29th trading day, Friday next week. So there's still today, tomorrow, right? And then five trading days into next week before the end of uh, November. So it still, it still could do it, guys. It still could do it. I, I'm pretty, I'm kind of like about 70% between, I don't know, it's maybe 65% to 70%. Uh, I'm I'm sure that Neo is going to make a big move up in November, if not November, December. But I'm 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 I'm, I'm kind of like well over fifty percent certain, but not financial advice. Um, so apart from that, there's not much else. That's why I'm holding long term, because long term I'm looking for big rise the big rise right so guys like um I'll keep watching it and i'll give you an update if there's any update to come but there's nothing at the moment i'm just looking for that spike 